welcome back to Karma Life Readings. I'm Karma. Whoa. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video and come to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Aries, if at any time you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you have not been on a spiritual journey, if you've never experienced a spiritual awakening, uh, you might find it difficult to resonate with some of what comes through in my readings. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Please make sure to use your discernment. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link to my website is in the description box below. You can use the code YouTube to receive 15% off uh, your order. Anything that you order, not just readings. All right, Aries. Let's get into it. What's the current energy, please? All right, you have poverty with the number 37, which is also 10. Then you have privileged lady with the number 12. Ooh, okay. And then you have house. You have thief, false person, change, and great fortune. Hmm. There's a lot of energy here, Aries, that I'm tapping into. I do feel like somebody was trying to take from you, uh, either energetically or just in terms of preventing you from reaching some type of success. Somebody here could be experiencing some type of financial hardship and or loss or job loss. This could also be the loss of a sale in terms of a house, okay? Because you have a house in poverty here. But you definitely had someone around you here uh, that had negative intentions, bad intentions, okay? And this is somehow connected to you needing to move or a foundation in terms of a foundation that a situation was set upon or built upon that was faulty. All right, let's take a look here. What's the current energy around Aries? The King of Swords. What was the past energy in regards to the situation, please? The Ten of Pentacles. Your thoughts and feelings are showing up as the Nine of Swords. The Page of Wands is your energy in terms of what your intentions are with this person and or the situation. And we're going to clarify all of this. <clears throat> hmm. And you have the Tower. It's interesting energy here, Aries, because I feel as though you you have a lot of anxiety in regards to the next step of action that you're going to take. Their thoughts and feelings towards you is the high priestess. Their intentions towards you is the three of swords. And their next steps of action towards you is the knight of cups. What is... What does Aries need to be focused on here? What does their main focus need to be for healing and growth? The Page of Swords. So you need to be in a space of observing and taking the information that's coming to you for exactly what it is. Sit back and watch something here. The outcome is the Page of Pentacles. Wow. On the bottom, you have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you're on your way to some type of wish fulfillment or like a new beginning in, in joy and, and overwhelming abundance and feeling great. I don't know what particularly is holding you back. And I feel like it might have something to do within yourself. So we're going to look at this because there still seems to be a feeling of, of void or lack with this eight of cups. Like you're still looking for something more. And I almost feel like the lesson is more of recognizing what you have to get that fulfilling feeling instead of looking for it elsewhere. 
there is somebody here who I'm having a hard time trusting their intentions because it looks like they have something that they're hiding from you or that they don't want you to be aware of. Or this is someone who's extremely um, shy with their emotions, like just not opening up. What is this King of Swords, please, for the current energy? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with some type of uh, business arrangement or needing to deal with something at work that's showing up and being quite prominent at this time. Again, we were seeing that there's something with financial poverty. The Eight of Cups. Okay, and the Five of Wands. So you are in the process of making a pretty big decision in terms of your future, and I feel like it stems from a possible situation where you are disappointed in regards to somebody's aggression that they brought upon you um, because it looks like they tried to create some type of conflict or competition when in fact you weren't even perceiving the situation as such to begin with, okay? This now, yeah, look, whatever this situation is, who, whatever this person did or this group of people because there's two queens here, it's put a block in your plans or in your progress, it's not going to last very long. Here you are again with the Nine of Swords. But you're definitely needing to make a decision, but struggling with making a decision. I mean, there's a lot of disappointment. You feel like somebody failed you or somebody, you know, it shouldn't have been this way. I feel like you're trying to hold your ground or put your foot down in terms of like defending yourself or setting boundaries. Yeah, patience is definitely needed in this situation. And on an energetic level, this situation is affecting your solar plexus or it's um, it's exercising your solar plexus chakra. So you're a light worker. So, so I mean, you're going to deal with difficulties because your light shines so bright that you're kind of here to dismantle that which is, you know, not aligned or not, you know, yeah, not aligned with the most high. Just your presence alone reveals areas that need healing or need repair. What is this Ten of Pentacles for the past energy? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles twice. So in the past, I don't know, there was some type of wealth or fortune. This could have been something within a family, like a lot of celebration. Um, children could be involved. It's just a lot of family building. It's, it's generational wealth. It could be inheritance as well. The Four of Swords, so you were healing with your family. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Okay. So there was a lot of like... Um, for some of you, there I don't know if there were like a lot of holidays pertaining to your particular religion or something within your culture that you've been having to do a lot like back to back here because you've got the ten of pentacles twice with the four of swords and the hierophant um with the four of swords aries i feel like you really took some necessary time to pull back your energy and focus on what really matters and the way that spirit is um, revealing this and showing this to me is that it was it was through family, right? You could, like I said, you could have been healing family um, cycles. You could have been healing relationships with other people in your family. But there was something here that you were trying to build and create. Or you were just experiencing new traditions within your family. There's also an Aries here who was like guided to slow down. Somebody here, somebody here could have won the lottery or you hit some type of jackpot with this 10 of pentacles double where like a big loan came in. Some, some type of payout came to somebody here. Could have been child support. So there was something in, in terms of property here where finances was the case and then it says you are healing yourself successfully cleanse and smudge your home so that's what you were doing you were healing certain things within yourself around you other relationships with other people Aries you were just very very focused on getting things uh, in order 
All right, why is the Nine of Swords here for Aries energy towards this person? There seems to be a lot of anxiety. Okay, you got the Death card with Scorpio, the Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I feel like you don't like the greediness of this other person. I mean, who would? or even like the possessiveness or whatever, like you you feel as though something's ending, but then there's also this element of somebody holding on tight. This person is hard to change. They're, they're not willing to grow. And I think that also frustrates you because you really wanna see somebody um, come out of a way of being that you have recognized might not be conducive for their growth or their success. I think it's because you have the gift and the ability of foresight. And so you're able to see things farther ahead than other people. You can kind of see what is coming and how to handle it. And that may confuse people, but it's interesting because when you try to think about what's coming towards you with this particular person or what could be with this person or the situation, the one thing that gets you worked up seems to be the fact that you don't see them changing or you, you're unable to see a shift or a change happen in this person. And so you wonder how that's going to affect the success between the two of you. You might have to end something sooner. Yeah, you're reviewing your relationships. It says time to review your relationships in life. I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. So there could have been a new baby that came in or there's a new beginning because it says new baby on the way, but you needed to review your relationships because there's a new beginning, a new opportunity that's presenting itself into your life that's going to change and transform you. And so spirit is like, look, certain things aren't going to be able to be around. There's a page of wands here. The king of pentacles with the page of wands for your intentions. Hmm. the sun I mean two of cups your intentions are always pure Aries especially with this situation I don't know if this is a business situation but it has something to do with partnership I say business because the page of wands and the king of pentacles is here and I feel like um there was some type, like your, your intentions are proving to show up as, as genuine. Like you're not in here trying to, to put one over on somebody. It looks like something that you thought was going to be extremely successful. Um, there's also an element here, Aries, of somebody maybe putting a little bit too much trust in somebody. And that's what you're learning here with this time to review your relationships is maybe you didn't put in enough foresight with this person maybe you do have the gift of foresight but because how you trusted this person or whatever the case may be you didn't really take it as far as you should have because this page of wands is kind of like you're 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 second guessing your original plan with this person i don't know what they did the past is holding you back you must release see So you're timeline jumping, you're in the middle of an ascension, and that's why you're in this process of reviewing everything. You could be giving someone the silent treatment and just not really communicating with them at this time. But this silent treatment is, like I said, because you need to review something thoroughly for yourself. What is this tower for Aries? You have the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, and then the Knight of Cups, which is their next step. I think that you, with this Page of Swords energy, you observe something from a different timeline, from a higher perspective, and you make a decision that might kind of catch somebody off guard, and I feel like that decision is to walk away. There's some, there's some type of disappointment or sadness here. 
or regret. Yeah, you've healed yourself. So you definitely are seeing the situation from a different perception. So you're handling it differently. That's going to shock people. Taurus energy, the Hierophant. You're, again, you're seeing something from a higher perception. Something's been revealed to you with the Hierophant here. You've been under attack, spiritual warfare. But see, you're winning. So now you're able to perceive something differently. You're using a different judgment on, on a person or situation and realizing their role. What, what is this high priestess for their thoughts and feelings? What are they hiding? This person is trying to get information on you, Aries. This person watches you. They're trying to get information on you, and I don't like it. And I think that you, again, being as genuine as you are up here, maybe that's what you're starting to realize. And maybe that's also what's so disappointing to you is that this person really is this way, right? You have the Wheel of Fortune here, so something is about to shift and change. This person could be trying to gain some type of insight into why you have such good fortune or wanting to bring in bad fortune, okay? You have the Ace of Wands. What are their thoughts and feelings? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. They want to take, they want, they want to create with the Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles some type of lack, poverty and the thief. This is somebody who's trying to take from you. Hmm. there's a scandal here there's some type of scandal and this has to do with finances somebody was trying to leave you out in the cold Aries they were trying to get you stuck down broke lost spirit but see you're exactly where you should be this person thought they had you where they wanted you huh <laughs> But God had you where he wanted you. That's that's the kicker. Yeah, this person wanted you to believe that you could trust them, but they don't take accountability here. This person knows that they can trust you, and I feel like this person took advantage of that. Could have been a Leo, Aquarius. Does not have to be, but... Their intentions towards you is the Three of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Again, this could be at your job. The devil, I'm telling you, their intentions were to cause pain and disruption in your life. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. They were trying to end something for you, to take something from you. So they may have approached you and started some type of friendship. I don't really understand what's going on here, but you're a very privileged person who whatever areas I'm tapping into, there's something about you that this person needed to drain or wanted to take from you. They may have worked with someone else here. If it wasn't another person or a group that is involved in um, the dark arts, I don't even want to call it art because it's not art. It's lame, but you know what I'm saying. Um, if it wasn't, then they were just working with darker energies and entities here. But this person has done too much. They were trying to put a lot on you with this 10 of wands, Aries, and it ended, it's going to end up going on to them. But not before they try to come towards you with this Knight of Cups. And I think this energy here is where you reject some type of peace offering from this person. Okay. Again, for a lot of you, this could have to do with work or some type of investment. You may have needed this person's help or asked for their help. And in turn, they created a problem. They used you. This person could have some type of addiction that is unknown. Uh, but they're in a toxic place here. Toxic state. Yeah, they want to try again to come towards you and see if they can get this, set this right. Because I'm telling you, they they have they were trying to take something from you and it failed. So they got to come back around. Aquarius energy. The veil is being revealed. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But see, yep. Yeah, oh, that's why Aquarius is here. They're being found out. Lies will be exposed. So everything is going to be brought to the table. You need to practice uh, detachment, abandonment wounds, and they are still dealing with a karmic. All right, why is this Knight of Cups here, please? Why is this Knight of Cups here for the next steps of action? Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups. Um, this is 
really weird energy. I almost feel like this person's going to try to come towards you with some type of like apology and let's work it out. But they're also coming through very hasty. And it's because they're worried about whatever they've created for themselves. And there's someone here who's going to be banking on your compassion, Aries, to work with them again or to, you know, move in a positive direction again. I don't necessarily see you doing that, but this person's going to give it a shot. They're going to give it a shot. This is somebody who's extremely impatient too. I don't know if they're trying to rush something yet. Do not trust them. Judas is near. They're, they're doing this to continue on with their plan of betraying you. Sagittarius energy. Because temperance is here. Divine intervention is here. There's nothing that they can do. Yeah, this is somebody within your close friends or tight circle. Spirit says to stay in an energy of observing. Understand that this person does watch you. You need to pay attention to who's around you. Pay attention to what you're saying to people because I feel like there's, you're being watched. And so the more information you say out loud, the more information is going to go back to this, this, this person who's against you. You have the six of pentacles. This is at, this could be at somebody's job. You have the tower. Could be a charity event here. And the knight of cups. Then you have the emperor. I don't know if someone's fighting for your attention. I feel like this has to do with work. It's so confusing because it could also be love in a workplace is kind of how spirit is showing me. So Aries, you're really going to need to discern this as to why, you know, money, finances and work are tied into this. There's somebody who watches you to gain information. Then there's also somebody who's watching someone else and how they interact with you. Like there's a jealousy going on. Like maybe you get a lot of attention, Aries. Maybe there's people at work who like you and they're kind to you or they flirt with you, whatever it is. And then there's somebody else who's watching it and it's pissing them off. It's like chivalry, like they're chival chivalrous. Like they wanna come towards you now and make an offer. But I, I just feel like whoever's coming in to make an offer towards you, this person, spirit is like, you have to be careful. But I think you're aware of who this person is who did something behind your back or who's hiding. Because there's somebody's pride is broken. That's why the tower is here. So spirit is like, watch out for this person. Because their pride is broken. And it has to do, I don't know if it's because they're jealous of you. They need to call Jesus into their heart to shine light on darkness because this person is very unstable. So spirit is like, stay protected with the most high. Cover yourself daily because this person is unstable. And they've got something up their sleeve that you're unaware of. You need to control and stabilize your emotions so that you, whatever they're projecting onto you does not affect you so that you can stand you know, tall in the midst of this because it, it's showing up as a spiritual attack happening in the physical what is the page of pentacles bringing in for the outcome there's an opportunity here possible apology nine of swords the hanged man the ace of swords two of swords you need to kind of you're waiting for some type of light bulb moment or aha moment or there's like a key piece of information that is going to be provided to you if you can calm down the overthinking and the anxiety. Here in this hanged man energy comes in the ace of swords. That's clarity. But in order to get there, you've got to, somebody here could have insomnia or too much anxiety and that's creating a, a stalemate the two of swords in the ability to receive the guidance and the the uh, little tokens of information that are trying to come to you okay this page of pentacles has something that's beneficial for you if you allow yourself to release or sacrifice something so that you can gain a new perspective you'll get this ace of swords okay new idea truth breakthrough because you've been paused here with the two of swords you feel like you're stuck in the middle or you're blind to the truth 
somebody may come and give you some information about this person or whatever you're dealing with at work. It might be a breakthrough information that you're not expecting. Look, new job or promotion. So even while you're dealing with all this, it's still yours. God is like, it's still yours. It doesn't matter what somebody does to try to stop you. They are being found out. Lies will be exposed. Spell work being done, binding spells and money spells. That's what it is. This person is just doing whatever they can to get you stuck. I, spreading rumors, lies, gossip, but it's not gonna end up working. It's gonna end up getting them stuck, not you. All right, Aries, I'm gonna do two piles of two cards each. These are the closing messages from Spirit. And I'm sorry, three piles of two cards each. I think I said two, but. So you can pick pile one, two, or three. And these will be your closing messages from Spirit in regards to um, your current situation and what you need to know. So let me get these cards out. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. All right, if you picked pile one, you have the initiation rite of passage you are going somewhere sacred and then you also have protection call back your power and cut the cords soul retrieval okay if you picked pile number two aries it says cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life deep cellular healing arcturus energy physical and emotional healing is going on right now and aries if you picked pile number three it says, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. And then you have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. All right, Aries, I send you guys so much love. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.